Stevenson gets the 20 to 1 win over Eastern here today. Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Rayleigh. Um, coach, I want to just a couple things for for dummies like me, right? The second half, it was clear there was a very different strategy in today's game. Can you explain to somebody who's like me, who doesn't know the game the way that you do, what the idea was, what the thought process was, what you're doing in the second half? Well, we knew we were going to be playing a lot of different people, so we wanted to slow the game down offensively and get people that don't typically get to play a lot of touches and and really try to focus in on being open in a moment or 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 putting our best foot forward offensively in us in a few seconds that we identified prior to going out at halftime um which what i think we did well for the most part our you know our goal was to really control and move the ball for the majority of the offensive possession in hopes that we have an open man towards the end of that sure. offensive uh-huh. possession so um i thought that went pretty well Defensively, we were going to go and stick with high pressure. It's just a little bit easier a defense when you don't have personnel you're used to to your left or your right. Um, so as we were going to be moving some some uh, subs in, we were going to stick with the high pressure, which I think we think we held them scoreless for three quarters, yep. maybe. Yep. Yeah. So we were able to um, really just kind of confuse them and not let them get anything started. Uh, you know, and and we were able to play uh, everybody on the on the bench, which was good. Uh, we, we got a question from a viewer at home. Uh, her name is MC, and she wanted to know: Was the strategy shooting low? Is that something that? Yeah, you know, was the the players themselves notice was effective? What was the thought process? Because it was clearly working. I you know I don't think that there was any shoot. It. We always just tried to shoot to open net, um, but the goalie was coming out high and she had a super high stance. So you know it's just what was open was anything from hips down. Um, uh, so we were just trying to take advantage of that, but it was no game plan. I never like to go in with a only shoot here sure. because because goalies are intuitive and they're in the cage for a reason, which means if they're going to sense when you're picking on something, then they're going to start to kind of cheat in that direction. And, and you know, a good shooter should be seeing the net and that's it and, and uh, putting it to where the goalie is not or moving the goalie and putting it behind her. So, so we don't we don't typically do that in a scout report. In McKenna's case, it was a you know just roll it along the, 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 the turf. I've never seen. It looked like a rock skipping across a pond. She does that slider is so good, but but it throws most goalies off. No doubt. Um, but you'll see that most goalies are starting to anticipate that shot from her. So in the last couple of games, you've seen her do a lot of risers. You've seen her really ping the upper corners, work more on the hips um, because she's just. Uh, you don't want to be pigeonholed into just one kind of shooter. No doubt. Mm-hmm. All right, you got a big week coming up. We've been talking we a do. lot about it. Mm-hmm. How confident are you? You clearly played. Your team has played incredible lacrosse now for, oh, you. you know, a month. How confident are you in where they are going into what we know is is the most critical week of the regular season? Uh, we have to tighten up a few things. Uh, we we have to be a little less predictable on attack which means the ball movement looks great. So as as long as we are uh, continuing with that good ball movement, but at the end of that ball movement, we should have our 2v1. And that's what we want to do. We need to make sure that when the doubles are coming towards a Carroll or a McKenna, um, that we're able to have somebody available to dish it out to and immediately find the other side of the field for the 2v1. So that's one thing that we'll spend the next two or three days on. Defensively, um, I thought we did much, much better today without fouling, um, which is great. Uh, I thought our containment was great. We need to continue with that, um, and we have to get much, much better at crease 3v3 defense and getting ready for Messiah. So, um, And we need to have a couple different defenses, which is why I'm going to give you your little segue right here. Okay. Which is why we brought Hannah Ash up okay. with us, because Hannah Ash is – the key component in all of our defenses outside of man. So anything we do that's a zone or a combo zone or high pressure or medium pressure, um, she is, she runs the show back there. So I, we thought it would be really great. She did a great job today, and she did a great job today with top-to-bottom changes in personnel on every draw, which is not easy as your anchor on the defensive unit. Uh, but she did it um, glowingly today. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Well, that takes away my last question, so I'll just yes. say, Why good. The heck is yeah, it ha- is yes, let's let's. Here? Well, no, I, well, I don't think I was gonna fa- phrase it that way, but I think it might have sounded something like, "Tell me about who you brought yeah. up here to chat." She with. she is just an incredible anchor on defense, and and that the position and the role she plays does not always get the limelight. 
um, because she's the one sending the slides. Mm-hmm. She may not be the one with the calls turnovers in the in the double team because she's the one who is sending the double team there and then covering more than her share. So this is a great opportunity today as she ran things with all the different players um, to get her up here and get get people to know her better because she is extraordinary. Excellent. Coach, congratulations, another big win, and best of luck this week. We'll see you when you get back. Thank you. She's Kathy Raley.